in this week's Bondi Vet compilation. My goodness. It's all hands on deck. Time to rally the troops. As we welcome precious new lives into the world. Oh, how can you not be happy when you're holding a puppy? But with so many fragile lives at stake. She has a football team inside of her. The pressure's on to save both mum and the adorable babies. There's a chance they may not want to be alive. I've got Leah. Leah, hello, Leah. She's um, having pups. Okay, having some trouble? She's, yeah, she can't stand up on her back legs and she's okay. taken forever. She's huffing and puffing. Okay, have a seat. I'll go and get Dr Chris for you. Thank you. Chris is back at the Kyabram Veterinary Clinic where Heather and her daughter Alana have arrived with a very pregnant Leah. This much-loved Maltese is definitely no farm dog. She's the world to us, yeah. She's our little girl. It's starting to get really concerning, so we brought her in to have her checked up. Okay, how old is she now? Um, she's nearly four years old. Yeah. How long has she not been able to walk for? Uh, about 10 o'clock this morning. She can't even get out of the bed. She's just got nothing. Yeah, she's really unable to stand there. Yeah. The way I'm thinking is, with labour for, for dogs, they generally have two stages. The first stage is where they have internal contractions, where the puppies start to move around and, yeah. and her uterus, her womb, is really starting to move the puppies yeah. in along the tube and getting ready to, to come out. Yep. The second stage is the actual visible contractions where she's really forcing and, and pushing the puppies. She hasn't really reached that stage no. yet. No, no. So what I think has happened is the puppies have moved into an area where they're starting to cause some paralysis for her. Yep. And because of that, she's reached a bit of a deadlock. Yeah. She just hasn't been able to push because she can't really feel a lot of what's going on. There. No, no. I want to know exactly where she's at, how many puppies she has, where the puppies are and how close they are to being delivered. The only way to do that is with an X-ray. X-ray. Wow. I reckon I can count. One, two, three, four, five six spines, she's going to have a big job on her hands. And I just wonder whether a small dog like her on a first litter is going to be able to do that. How'd you go? Is only three or four? She's got six. Six of them. My goodness. Leah has been in labour for more than five hours and there is no sign of the pups. Chris now fears the worst. My worry right now is that this isn't panning out like it normally does. She's been putting contractions in, but the puppies haven't been doing their bit. Why? There's a chance they may not want to be alive. Good girl. You know, I just think we need to give her a few drugs yep. to move things along. OK. If we don't see any action then, then I think she's going to have to go into a caesarean, That's which okay. I know isn't, isn't what we want. No. Caesareans aren't something we just rush into. I'd rather she had these pups naturally, so I'm going to give her two injections. The first one is calcium, really to give her muscles the ability to contract strongly. And the second is oxytocin, which really stimulates those muscles to contract. The two together are a pretty powerful combination. Good girl. These injections should start working within a couple of seconds, but I'm going to give her a full hour to see if they're going to have any effect in getting these puppies out. See, that's already bringing on a few little contractions here. Good girl. So at this stage now will really tell us if she's going to have the strength to, to, to go herself. through. Yeah. yeah. Good girl. Oh, I'm just hoping that she's able to have a normal birth and, and everything goes well. But she's exhausted, so it's a wait and see game. We've now waited the full hour, but there's no sign of any puppies at all. You know, I've got two concerns here. One is that those puppies inside of her are probably have waited for long enough. Yeah. The other thing is that there could be something wrong with the puppies that's resulting in them not really sending the proper signal to mum to, okay. to give birth. Why is that signal not being sent? Those puppies could either be in trouble or they're no longer alive. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't really think there's any other option now. Apart no, from no, she's gone all day. Yeah. I'm not getting anywhere. That's starting to get really concerning because she's just been like this for so long now. We need to save her as, as well as the pups.
The plan here is to give Leah enough of this drug to put her on her anaesthetic, but at the same time not make the pumps too sleepy. The thing you really have to bear in mind when you give a dog like Leah an anaesthetic for a caesarean is that you're not just injecting her, you're essentially giving the puppies inside of her that drug as well. And when it comes around to waking them up, the less drug they have on board, the quicker they will wake up. Okay, ready to start? Yeah. yeah. Just trying to be fairly measured here, but at the same time quite fast because these pups have been essentially on hold for six, seven hours now. It's been a long time, so just conscious of trying to get them out as quickly as we can, but as successfully as we can as well. This is the uterus here that's holding the puppy, so we'll just have to make a cut in here, and then it's going to be action. Normally, Leah would lick her newborn pups to stimulate their breathing, but in this situation, a team of vets are on standby to begin reviving the babies. And we're away. All right. Come on, puppy, just give us a couple of breaths. Mm -hmm. It's a heartbeat, but it's not breathing. Ready for another one? The problem we've got is that these puppies are really forced our hand. By the looks of it, they're not exactly ready to come out, so they're taking a long time to, to wake up, but there was really no choice given the fact that mum had gone into paralysis. Chris has now delivered three puppies, but none of them are breathing. It's got a heartbeat, but it's still not breathing, so you've just got to keep working on it. Come on, little one. With the pressure increasing, Chris joins in the team effort to revive the puppies. Come on. Tough love is required. You want for me to get back in there and yeah. get some of it? Let's get another pair of gloves. But with another three pups still to come, time is running out. They never give up on these pups. They're amazing, they're fighters. My worry right now is that those girls are struggling to get those puppies alive. From here, we're just hoping. Come on, little one. Even though it's hard to be here when I know the puppies really need help out there, the fact is they need a mother as well. So that's why getting Leah through this is my priority. It's been more than 20 minutes since Leah's first pup was delivered by caesarean. Sadly, two pups haven't made it. A team of vets is working frantically to save the lives of the remaining four. They're not actually breathing on their own yet, but the anaesthetic does have a suppressive effect on their breathing, so um, hoping that they'll, they'll come round. But yeah, at the moment, they're, they're quite purple. We need to keep them um, getting oxygen into their lungs. Little cry. Come on, mate. Is that a cry? Is that a... Finally, one puppy takes its first breath. We've got one breathing and wriggling and squeaking like it should. Yeah, it's great. You're doing really well, aren't you? The vets have now managed to revive the four tiny pups. So they're getting nice and pink and there's a few little squeaks going on, so worth all that hard work, it's great. How are you going out there, guys? We've got some squealers now. Good. Squealing, wriggling. Very good, you're doing a good job. Oh, <laughs> so after all of that, we're down to our last stitch. All right, we're done. So she's in good shape. She's actually come through that really well. It was a couple of tense moments. She lost a lot of blood, all those puppies coming out, but she's bounced back incredibly well. Now, I want to see those puppies. Wow. You guys have done an amazing job. You really have, because when they came out, they were just so small, and I didn't really give them much chance. You're sticking your tongue out at me, aren't you? <laughs> It's just such a buzz getting um, live puppies at the end. Yeah, it's, it's great. Awesome. Now, guys, about the milk bar. <laughs> She's occupied at the moment, but she will be with you shortly, all right? A little patience, and you'll get your drink. All right, are you ready for this? This is a big moment. You know, we said before, you might have a little bit of a surprise waiting for you. And look at these. 
In country Victoria, Lee has come around from her anaesthetic and can finally meet her four new babies. Lee, are they yours? Yeah. In reception, owner Heather and her daughter Alana are anxiously waiting for news of the birth. First thing I'm going to do is go and check Leah. Yeah, she's um, got to make sure she's OK. Yeah, and then go and see the pups. Oh, hello, darling. <laughs> well done, Leah. <laughs> oh, I definitely love it first sight. Yeah, they're just beautiful. They look cuter than I imagined. They're gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, you're beautiful. You did such a good job. What a lovely girl. You're so clever. So I guess we just leave Leah to sleep. Yep. She'll wake up in the morning and realise that this wasn't a dream. Yeah. <laughs> she is a mother. <laughs> but she'll be happy. She'll get her head around it and, yeah. and she'll be very happy. Yeah. Like you guys. Yep. As much as I'm sure Heather and Alana would love to take these puppies home tonight, they're still quite fragile. They're going to need to stay in here tonight for observation and a few feeds. And then tomorrow, all going well, they'll get their puppies home. So it's all ended up pretty well. It has, mm. thank you. It's all in cup. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> I think for me, the amazing thing is, no matter what animal you're dealing with, mm. no matter where you're working, <laughs> that sense of awe and wonder about what's just happened is always the same. It's something you never get sick of seeing. Are you excited to get them home? The little puppies? Yeah, be good. It's been 12 hours since Leah's emergency caesarean. The Maltese now has four healthy puppies. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I've really missed her. Yeah, it was really quiet last night. And um, yes, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see her. You guys want to come in? <laughs> yes. Hello. I think you need to see something. Hello. Someone's decided that motherhood is for them after all. Um, and has been allowing her puppies to suckle. She's been licking them, she's been cleaning them. Oh, good girl. Hey, look. Oh, look at that. One, two, three, four. Oh, they're beautiful. <laughs> oh, Leah, you're so clever. <laughs> I was pretty sure that Heather and Alana had fallen for the puppies yesterday, but now I see them with them today. They are head over heels for them. I can't believe so little. They're now doing so well that I think they can go home today. Oh, really? As long as you get a D-sex now. Oh, my. How long? How long do I have to wait? You just have to wait another month or so. A month or so? Yeah. Lucky you brought that up, I was going to ask that question. <laughs> the look on their face when I tell them they can take the puppies home is something else. Beautiful. I know they're going to look after them incredibly well. I mean, thinking we were going to lose Leah and we... We've met Dr. Chris and we're taking home a dog with four little puppies. <laughs> How good's that? He has done a great job. He's done an awesome job. He's um, brilliant. Is it too early to talk about names? No, one of them's going to be Brownie. Is it really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like looking at yourself in the mirror? Well, the hair colour's the same. <laughs> And look, he's gorgeous. Gee. Okay with this layer? <laughs> you reckon brownie? And it looks like there's a bit of a trend appearing here. I've now got a calf called Christina and a puppy called Brownie. Really making a name for themselves in this town. I'm a bit concerned about what is going on here? On the Gold Coast, Gerardo is dealing with a major emergency. We'll help you out. Heavily pregnant Storm is in labour with a huge litter of puppies. Well, you're a sweet son. We'll take care of you today, hey? Owner Jessica rushed Storm to emergency when she noticed her beloved dog's labour was not going smoothly. This morning, I could see that Storm was in labour with her puppies and I could see contractions in her belly, which was very exciting. But after a little while they stopped and it didn't look like things were going very well so I thought I'd bring her down just to be checked out and I'm very glad I did. But today she started passing green discharge and having contractions. 
if she has green discharge, that means there's a separation of the placenta from the uterus wall, then that puppy is at risk of passing away because blood supply nutrients will start to become compromised. I'm just going to check and see if she's got some milk coming down. If she's got some milk coming down, it helps us know that she's ready. We've got some milk coming down. That's always a good sign, meaning that she's getting ready to give birth. Good girl. Good girl, Storm. Here we go. Gerardo needs to quickly decide whether to try encouraging Storm to give birth naturally or go straight to an emergency oh. caesarean. Stay still, stay Sit still. Sit still. Sit still. Sit still. Okay. Good girl. Come here. Oh, I need a little girl. Storm needs an immediate ultrasound so Gerardo can get a better idea of just how many puppies she needs to deliver. Good girl. Oh, oh, oh. So, so, slow down. But an already nervous Storm is becoming increasingly agitated. Okay, you got her? Oh, 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 Storm clearly prefers to be on the floor. Now that she has calmed down, we can take her through to x-ray and have a look and see what's going on in the inside. Legs to us, one, two, three. Oh, so still, still, oh there we go, oh, there we go. What the x-rays are going to show us is the number of puppies that are in there. Oh, it's a lot of puppies in there. You're a clever girl, Storm. Yeah, it's just a You've got eight beautiful babies, eh? Yeah, it's a lot of puppies. Storm won't be able to deliver naturally if any of the puppies are too big for her birth canal. Now we've got to look at the, the pelvic canal. So the pelvic canal is three and a half centimetres. Let's have a look at some of these noggins. Five centimetres. Four and a half centimetres. Oof, it'd be tight, it'd be tight. That may not fit. Here we go. Stomach, 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 stomach. It will be a tight squeeze for the puppies to come out, but Gerardo is still hoping Storm can deliver naturally. Let's just make sure. Next, Gerardo needs to check the puppy's heart rates. If the puppy heart rates are above 180 beats per minute, then we're pretty happy. If it's under 150, that means that those puppies are in trouble. And let's just get a heart rate on this little fella. Wow. Boom, 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 Pause. Heart rate is looking at 153. Yeah, that's not so great. Let's try and find another one. And that 150 is a bit concerning. Okay, we have another one here. Heart rate. This is not as good as I hoped. This one is looking very slow. Let's measure it. Thank you. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. That's right, 147. Storm and her puppies are in trouble, and Gerardo needs to take her straight through for an emergency caesarean. Uh, we may not have an option to try medical management, hey? I'm a bit worried, darling. Yeah. You're right. Good girl. Gerardo and his team are prepping Border Collie Storm for an emergency caesarean. We're against the clock. One of Storm's puppies' heart rate is dangerously low. If we don't go to surgery, that puppy may die. Okay, here we go. Okay, Storm. You've got the best team here. Okay, yeah, okay, I'm on my way. Gerardo needs all hands on deck. Time to rally the troops. So Alex will be in charge of the resuscitation team to help any puppies in distress. Do you know where the, you know, the resuscitator for the puppies is? Any birth is an anxious time, and right now we know that Storm can't deliver her babies naturally. This is where we all step in and hope there's a good outcome. I'm gonna do a test cut, you ready? Storm's uterus is really big because of those eight puppies. We need to get her puppies out now. So one pup here, we've got the head now. See the head? 
I'm going to gently pull on the head, and I'm going to gently pull. What we're going to do is gently hold on and see the placenta here. This is where the adrenaline really kicks in. Gerardo has just delivered the first puppy, and fingers crossed it's alive. Got it? Go. Alex and her team are now ready to swing into action. Oh, he's a pretty colour. I know it is. It might look a bit rough, but this is how we resuscitate puppies. By rubbing them with a warm towel, it helps them to start breathing and clears the fluid from their lungs. Hey, little guy, you're so pretty. Three more puppies have now been delivered, and Alex and her team are desperately trying to keep them alive. Any of them squeaked yet? No. <laughs> no. Silence is not what we want right now. We're all on edge until we hear even the faintest squeak from these puppies. It means they're alive and breathing and going to be okay. Come on, everyone. Come on. I'm waiting for those little Good lad. Come Get on, everyone. Come on. Are you guys fine? Come on, little Yeah, that's what I'm pretty worried about. There's just, just no, no response at all. Our hearts are in our mouths. Any second now, we're desperate to hear the telltale squeaks that tell us that these puppies are alive. I think it was a good move to get in there and get them out right Okay. This is his last one. This girl's yeah, pretty good. Yeah, we keep going and coming and going and coming. Oh, that sound is so incredible. A newborn puppy's cry is so precious. We never get tired of it, and importantly, it tells us these puppies are going to be okay, and that's a huge relief. Last one coming through. Oh. We'll catch. The lively puppies are going straight into an incubator to help keep their tiny bodies warm and provide them with extra oxygen. It will be a while before Storm can meet her two girls and six boys. Um, the safest thing for her now is to get out of surgery quick. She's fine, she's recovering from anaesthetic. And you have eight beautiful little puppies. New mum Storm has fully recovered from her emergency caesarean and has finally been united with her eight precious babies. The two girls and six boys are making the most of a very sleepy storm, enjoying their first big drink of mother's milk. Proud owner Jessica is beside herself with emotion. Oh, that's so wonderful. That's amazing. I honestly could not be happier with the outcome. I am so, so thankful. We didn't lose one puppy and Storm is doing well. I just couldn't hope for a better outcome. I'm so happy. Oh, there we go. <laughs> She's like, oh my God. We can actually bring this backwards. Right, okay. Yeah. Oh, Today is actually Storm's birthday. She's two today, and so now she gets to share her birthday with her eight beautiful little babies. Oh, how can you not be happy when you're holding a puppy? I know. Some of them have homes. Uh, I know my sister is pretty keen for one, and I've had a few other people who are interested. Hi. Hey. She did a very good job. On the Gold Coast, a month after her dramatic caesarean birth, Border Collie Storm and her owner Jess are finding life very busy with eight lively puppies to look after. 
After the surgery, Storm, she didn't want anything to do with the puppies at first. I very quickly learned how to make puppy formula and feed them with a bottle and that was every two hours around the clock and it would take me about 10 minutes per puppy and when there's eight puppies that doesn't leave much time for a nap before the whole thing starts again. At the Bondi Clinic, Jen's anxiously waiting for her appointment with Chris. I'm very nervous. Um, she's, she's only two and um, this wasn't meant to happen. English pointer Jewel looks pregnant and it was definitely unplanned. That's why we're here, right? Yes. She doesn't belong to me. She's my son's dog. Yep. And um, he left her in my charge while, we, while he went overseas to work and um, she got out with our dog and I'm not quite sure what she's been up to. I have a bit of an idea. You'd expect that I'd be able to touch her stomach and feel the puppies, but her belly wall is so tight, I can't feel a thing. X-rays will confirm whether this is a phantom pregnancy or the real thing. Big moment, Jen. You see her? She has a football team inside of her. Oh dear. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh. How can they all be in there? How can... Eleven puppies is going to be a huge ask on Jewel, and the reality is if she was de sexed, she would never have been put in this situation. The world's already got enough puppies that don't have homes. We probably don't need to add to it with any more. But you look at Jen right now. I don't think this is going to be a mistake she'd make twice. Oh, hello. With the pregnancy confirmed, Jen now has to come clean to her son. He thinks there might be about 11 in there. 11 puppies? Yeah. Oh. So I guess I should say congratulations. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. No, you want a dog? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be hard. My son's away. Um, my husband's away working. Um, it's just us. Um, I really don't know that I can cope with it on my own. Um, I would hate to think that she got into distress and um, we had trouble. So how's everything going? Yeah, she's okay. She's had one. Yep. But, um, nothing since. Okay. Two days after Jules' visit to the clinic, a call from owner Jen gets Chris out of bed. Just try to keep it calm. Is she, is she pushing at the moment? Jules' huge litter of pups is on the way. Hello. Hello. <laughs> You're dad, aren't you? Yeah. So we've had one? Yes. And nothing since? You take a number early, did you? First in the queue. We're now at about two and a half hours since the first puppy was delivered. And, I mean, that's not ideal. You'd normally like them to be followed up pretty quickly, usually within about half an hour. Dad. Dad's just getting involved when he needs to, coming out and saying, hey, Jill, I'm loving your work right now. You're doing great. If you need me, I'm inside. But until the next one's delivered, I'll probably be asleep. But keep up the good work. <laughs> this is going to be a very long process. I'm just weighing up right now whether I intervene, whether I actually give her an injection of something to really stimulate those contractions to come on. Just remembering how much longer she still has to be in labour for. Jen, we got another one. In Jules maternity ward, it's been three hours since her first pup was born. At least ten more are on the way. Someone's come a little bit breech. So it's come back legs first. Oh. Okay. I'm not breathing yet. Come on. Oh yeah. Another one, Jen. Oh look. There you go. It's just gurgling a little bit. <laughs> The puppies are now coming quickly, and Jewel is turning out to be a natural mother. I'm not surprised at all. She's a good girl. 
not dead. <laughs> it's a girl. It's a girl. <laughs> it's time for Token the Dad to have a closer look at his progeny. You call it dog paternity test. Comes the sunrise, Jen. Good morning. <laughs> Small little one. Come on. But when the fourth puppy arrives, it is not responding. Another one. You want to do that one there, Jim? Just break that membrane open. In a litter this big, it's rare to get them all out alive. And that's what you got to remember, but oh, I've just got to give it every chance. And no, I'm not getting anything here. It's a tough night for the first time mum. You know what, come on. Despite mouth to mouth resuscitation, there is no sign of life. Sorry, mum, it's not looking good at this one. Sad reality, unfortunately, Jen, when you have this many puppies inside the womb, one of them ultimately ends up in a bad place where they just can't really grow and, and get all the nutrients. I think this is the one that's, that's been the case. It's very good to have Chris here. I'm not sure how I would have coped with that one. At the maternity ward, daylight has arrived. One puppy has not survived, and there are seven more to be delivered. Everybody is exhausted. Yeah. But there is no let up yeah. for the first time mum. Oh, yeah, look at you go. You are going to be trouble, aren't you? There you go. Okay. She wants it over, but it ain't over yet. No, yeah, you do. You take it, Chris. She was also increasingly happy just to hand the duties over to me. So, buddy, if you're still here, you know the drills. <laughs> what about little pandas? It's now seven hours into the ordeal, and Jules given birth to ten puppies. Jules is totally floored by the whole experience, and he's just trying to summon enough energy to push out these last couple of puppies. But the worry I have is that the puppies still inside her have been there for a long time and that uterus has been contracting for a long time. We need to get them out before they go in through any more stress. So I'm going to give her some oxytocin, which causes more forceful contractions of a uterus and, and just helps her because right now she's so weak, she's unable to really push them out. So this is number 11. Maybe the final one. Going on the sound of you, you must be a boy. Yes, you are. After a marathon eight hours, Jewel can finally relax. One puppy has died, but the proud mum has ten healthy babies, seven boys and three girls. Hey, Jewel. We're all done. OK. You've done your work. Well done, girl. Which one are you taking? Not that one, not that one. <laughs> I'm taking this one. <laughs> Straight to the surgery <laughs> to be de <laughs> Did you hear that? It seems to be a valuable member of our birthing team missing in action. I think Dad, token, clocked out about baby number five. It hasn't been seen since. You rest well, did you? Good night's sleep? Don't worry about us. But he's too little too late, surely. All I wanted was one moment with all the puppies. No. After all we've been through. Pretty clear she's a very devoted mum with very little faith in the men in her life. 
I'm pretty sure I overheard Jen saying how all her hard work was done and now it was all up to Jewel to look after the puppies. Yeah, that's until she has to find homes for 10 puppies. How are they going? <laughs> They're great. When Jewel delivered puppy after puppy, I really had my concerns that she'd actually be able to feed all of them. But I turn up today, they're not just surviving, they're thriving, they're fat. She's done an amazing job. Four weeks later, and the puppies will soon be ready to leave their mum. One of the new owners, Alan, just can't wait. I think she's adorable. <laughs> I don't know, when I first saw her, I knew that I had to have her. When you consider the start of Jules' adventure with this unplanned pregnancy was far from ideal. The ending now with all those puppies having fantastic homes like Ellen's, that's a nice outcome. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content.